Following through with our Which Would You Choose series, we're going to be covering the Epic from Selkirk to pick which model. If you really like this control model, this body shape, the Epic body shape, let's talk about the differences and which one to choose, shall we? Now, just talking about the Epic body shape, this is a shorter, wider body shape. So the S2 is a little bit wider of a body shape. It is a more of a control paddle. It's got a shorter handle. This is kind of the S2 with a larger, longer handle. It is a control model. So when I say control model, the Invicta is a little bit longer here. This is going to get you up close and personal to your ball. And it is a control based paddle. People really, really love this paddle also because you can roll and you can hit all the shots. And it also is comfortable enough for a two handed backhand in general. So let's talk about the different shots that we have to hit. And let's talk about which one I would pick for those different shots. So first off, let's talk about third shot drops, resets, anything that has to do with control. Which way would I put these paddles as far as control? So this is actually the, um, this is the amped version here. So the amped version, we have the regular version, the Vanguard 2.0 version. Okay, so if I was going to put these in order for control, the soft shots, the softest paddle out of here, I'm going to go with these two as the first two. Then I'm going to go with the amped version, and then we're going to go with the power air. This is the way I would stack them as far as touch goes, with the control being all the way over here on the left side, and the power being all the way over here on the right side, the least control, the smaller sweet spot. So big sweet spot would be over here on the left side, and the smaller sweet spot would be all the way over to the right with the power air. And this is the way I would do, this would be for control shots. So this would be third shot drop. When you start talking, I want a little bit more control, but I also want spin out of these two paddles. This guy here spins way more than the regular Vanguard 2.0. Regular Vanguard does not spin. It's more of a control paddle, more of a pusher's paddle. You can get some top spin on it with good form, but this paddle here is one of the top five spinning paddles on the market and it has as much control as the Vanguard 2.0. Although the Vanguard 2.0 is much softer feeling, it is like butter when you touch this ball. It's like an extension of your hands. So between these two, spin and a little bit more pop, a little bit more control would be over here on the left side. So let's talk about drives. So if I was gonna pick this for the hard shots, the drives, the serves with spin, um, I would obviously start with my two power paddles. So the top power paddle out of these four would be this guy here. This has the most power and the most spin out of these guys. So we're going to kind of combine these because these are a little bit relevant when we start talking about the differentiators here. Then the next one would be the amped version of this paddle. That's the second one as far as pop goes. Then the third one as far as pop goes is going to be the Project 003. And then the last one here would be the Vanguard 2.0 as far as power goes. Now when you start going power and spin, then these two slides over here is while the amped version has much more power than the Project 03, it is not good for spin. So if we were gonna do spin as a category, it would slide over here to the right with the Project 003 and the Power Air being the two spinny with the power. Now for pure power and drives, if you don't really need help from the paddle or you don't need the paddle to generate spin for you, the amped version is plenty of pop with it, and it has a lot bigger sweet spot. So out of these two power paddles, I would say that this one here has a larger sweet spot, and this one here has a little bit more pop. So with perimeter weighting over here, the Power Air can be a very solid paddle, but it does have a smaller sweet spot. You're gonna to need to help it out a bit. So for me, gun to head, if I was gonna play, these would be the two paddles I would choose between uh, I lean right now towards the Project 003 because I've learned that I do like spin and I like imparting spin upon the ball, which I played with the Vanguard 2.0. Spin was not part of my game. So I can pick either one of these paddles up and they feel very similar. It's a lot more crisp off the Project 003. Has a crisper feel because of the way this shell works around the core. And this guy here just feels like butter. It's nice, soft control. It feels like you're catching and throwing the ball. It feels like cheating. So that's the difference between the control models, and that's the way I would pick if I was going to play a tournament right now. And don't forget, you guys get discounts below. You just use our code, the ADV-Pirates, and you can get a discount sent to you in the mail. Also, if these are not the paddles for you, you can see the other reviews that I've done of other models of paddles right here.